ban on the importation of vegetables into Germany due to the high concentration of pesticides in them, Germany-based Ghanaian Eric Aqua concluded that something must be done to help Ghanaian farmers. Putting his career on hold, he decided to bring back home what he does best, piloting, but this time for farmers. I live in Germany and uh, for some time now, for about three years now, we realized that produce from Ghana is not making it to the German market, you know, so we thought about it and then, um, I mean, we thought about how we as Ghanaian living in Germany can support or can do something, you know, to, to help the produce from Ghana to come back to Germany. Because so the farmers cannot grow the crops without the chemicals, you know, they are pests. That they need to control. The technique is quite common in developed countries such as Germany. Eric explains how the drone system works. You know, we have, um, we use the GPS, you know, so it will take a map of the land and then it will um, we'll program it to spray. So it sprays everywhere on the land and, you know, it has uniform spraying evenly across the land, yeah. Just a year in operation, Eric has been able to spray about 40,000 acres of farmland across the country with his 30 drones. The outbreak of the fall armyworm was a booming period for Aquamaya drone technology as most farmers requested their services. The numerous benefits that come with the drone spray method is what has enticed many farmers. I mean, it's, it's going really well. You know, the, the farmers, most of the farmers we spoke to, I mean, they responded to it very well. And uh, um, I also can say we came at the right time, you know, because um, it's, it's also a challenge, you know, getting the workforce, you know, the, the, the spray gang, the guys who do the spraying, you know, it's, it's been a challenge right now in the market. So uh, the farmers don't get them to do the spraying for them. So. Um, they were very happy that there's a technology that will uh, do the spraying faster, about 10 times faster than they, they will use the, the manual spraying, you know. The drone um, sprays um, an, acre in, uh, an acre in between five to six minutes, you know. This is something that is not possible with the manual spraying, you know. So with the manual spraying, you need almost, you need almost about a day to spray an acre, you know. The drone, but the drone does it in, in six minutes. And then um, it also saves you about 60% um, about the, the chemical that you use, you know, when you use the manual spraying, you know. So you save a lot. The farmers save a lot of money, you know, and with the chemicals. And also, um, the spray also sprays um, uniformly, you know, so every inch of the land will get the same amount of the chemical, you know, so it's not like the manual, some places get more, other places get less, you know, and other places doesn't get the spraying at all. Demand for Eric's services are growing not only in Ghana, but in neighboring countries as well. For now, Eric says he's determined to see a change in Ghana's agriculture sector at the expense of his career. I would say yes, because, um, you know, it's something we started out of passion. You know, it's, we started this thing um, uh, in the, um, the need to do something, to give back, you know, from where we're coming from. You know, I have a very comfortable life in Germany, that I can say, but I also, I also feel like, you know, I have a lot to give back to where I'm coming from. You know, so, I mean, from, from the response we are getting, you know, and from how big it's growing, yeah, I believe I will be, I mean, stepping aside from piloting and then, you know, concentrating more on, yeah, on this, on this. Eric and his team of 15 workers are doing their best to achieve their targets of reaching 2 million acres by the end of 2019. Until then, he'll have to work through the ups and downs, including the challenge of getting financial support for his business. We'll have to carry the drones with vehicles to the farms. And if, if you look at where the farms are located, you know, they are very in the rural areas, you know, and the roads, yeah, very bad roads, you know. So this is one of our, our, our major challenges, you know. And uh, um, the, the other, other challenge we, we also have is the um, support, you know. So looking at what we did now, you know, we have currently we have almost about 30 drones, you know, and uh, next year we are projecting and doing about uh, 2 million acres. We will need a lot of drones, you know, 
and uh, we also planning to start assembling the drones here you know so i mean we need a lot of finance you know and um, the the banks here are not really supportive you know yeah they don't see the need in helping a small um, a startup business.